Girls. So today I have part two of my college dorm haul and this is a bunch of different stores. You know the gist. I am leaving for college in like two weeks and I needed stuff to furnish my dorm room. The first thing is super boring. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond and it is my sleeping pillow, one of them. And yeah, that's boring. Then also at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got this really cool makeup mirror right here. It is super awesome. It has the normal mirror on one side and then the really magnified mirror on the other side. But the reason it stood out for, to me so much is all the storage that it has on the bottom of it. Isn't that cool? I think I'm probably going to put like Q-tips and tweezers and different sorts of those kind of things in it, maybe some lipsticks. I'm not sure yet, but I just knew I would be able to find some sort of use for this awesome mirror slash storage thing. Next at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got this little container. It's just a slanted one with rectangular compartments, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put in it. Actually, no scratch that. I do know what I'm going to put on it. This is where I'm going to store all of my face products and set them on my dresser because I use them every morning so they will be readily available in this little container and it does not have the price on it anymore. I must have taken it off but I think it was about twelve dollars. Okay next we have an essential for all college students because we have communal bathrooms. Yay! So we have to keep all of our shower supplies in our rooms and carry it down the hall to the bathroom. So this all college students need. It is a shower caddy and it has a bunch of compartments, you know, shampoo, conditioner, um, a tray for your soap, your razor goes right into this little hole. But what I think is really cool about it is this little middle thing comes out. Which I think is cool because I take my showers at night. So then in the morning when I only need a few things, then I only have to take this little caddy rather than the entire big ones. So then to put in my shower caddy, these are other essentials for college students. I have a toothbrush case and a soap dish to keep the soggy wet soap from getting all over everything and to keep my toothbrush clean and free of germs from the communal bathroom. <laughs> then my last thing from Bed Bath & Beyond is my hamper. It's just one of those collapsible hampers and it has a pocket on the side. This is just essential to carry my laundry around down to the laundry room or home because when I come home I'm doing my laundry at home so I don't have to pay to get it done. So yeah, this is my portable hamper. Next I'm going to show you two things I got at Target which I feel like I got more there but for some reason I can't remember. I don't know. But the first thing I have is this umbrella. Isn't it adorable? It is clear with lime green trim. And it's one of those big dome umbrellas that like comes around you. And I just think it is really cool. I have collapsible umbrellas, but when it gets really windy, they blow inside out all the time. So I wanted a nice, sturdy, long umbrella. And this one is adorable. And it was $15 from Target. The other thing I have from Target is a scale. Because I'll freak out if I can't weigh myself. I know that sounds really bad, but it's just, I don't know. It's just a mental thing. I want to make sure... I stay away from the freshman 15. That is not allowed. Mm-mm. No. So this is just my scale to monitor and make sure I stay on track. Now I'm going to show you Walmart and the first thing I grabbed is these highlighters which I picked up because they were really cheap and they have attached to them little post-it tabs for like marking your place in books and stuff which I thought was pretty cool. Next thing I have is right here, 
and this is a sewing kit and it, I already opened it and used it so it's really terribly organized like look at that but it came with pins a seam ripper a measuring tape a marking pencil um, a pin cushion sewing scissors all sorts of you know beginner sewing things that I'll need I'll definitely need because I'm going into fashion design but look at the pin cushion it's really cool no hands and these are the sewing scissors the kit came with they're really really nice sewing scissors so yeah I already have a pair of sewing scissors but now I have two which is fine for me because I'm going to be doing a lot of sewing in my major the last thing I have from Walmart is this clip-on lamp and it's this really gorgeous aqua Tiffany blue color to go along with the pastel theme of my dorm room and the reason I got a clip-on lamp is because my roommate and I are going to bunk the beds and it was worked out really nicely because I wanted the bottom and she wanted the top so no problems there but since the bottom gets kind of dim I'm going to clip this onto the back of my bed and that way I can read before I go to bed draw do whatever that I might need light in my bed now the last thing I got are some rugs because the floors in the dorm are hard they aren't carpeted so I wanted to make it a little more homey with some rugs and I got them at Ollie's this is the first one that I got and it's a striped rug and it's really really big so I'm not gonna unfold it but this is the pattern of it and it was only eight dollars which is awesome because rugs are expensive and then I got one other one and it's this one this is a smaller one and it was only four dollars oh and one more thing I'm gonna show you this I well actually I did buy it but still it is my first textbook I bought my first textbook and I got a really good deal on it because I got it used on Amazon but it's almost like new there's no markings or anything in it and it's called fashion the industry and its career so this is my first textbook and I just thought I'd show you it now that is everything I have to show you for part two of my dorm haul honestly a lot of the stuff I needed for my dorm room I already had because there's really no reason to have two of everything one at home and one at my dorm because then in the summer I'm gonna have to tote it all back here anyway and then there will be two of everything laying around so yeah that is why I didn't buy like everything for my room I'm taking a lot of what I already have I hope you enjoyed part two of my dorm haul and I will see you in my next video bye dolls